This is BBC One in the North. Now at six o'clock, the BBC News with Sean Williams and Penny Bustin. Labour's mystery multi-million pound donor is revealed as publisher Paul Hamlin. He said he wanted to avoid publicity as he's recovering from illness. Major rescue operation as several cars are swept over a cliff in North Wales. George Carman, one of Britain's most feared libel lawyers, has died of cancer. Yasser Arafat arrives in Washington for crucial Middle East peace talks. Today's top stories, experts try to establish what caused the massive explosion which reduced a family home to rubble. And the surgeon raising fresh concern over the health risks involved in the use of mobile phones. Good evening. Across Yorkshire, Lincolnshire and the North Midlands, this is BBC One with Look North, presented by Peter Levy and Penny Bustin. Hello and welcome to Look North. On tonight's programme... Blown apart, just why did a massive gas explosion destroy this family home? New health concerns raised over mobile phones and cancer by Yorkshire surgeon. And new life in the new year. Are these twins the real millennium babies? Hello and uh, welcome back to the first full-length Look North of 2001. Yes, it's back to work for most of us and we hope you all had a lovely holiday. We start tonight with an amazing story that could so easily have ended in people losing their lives. This is all that's left of a house in Halifax, completely destroyed by an explosion. Just imagine if it belonged to you. Thankfully it was empty and up for sale, so no one was inside. Sarah Brindle reports. I think she'd borrowed that little tiara from you, hadn't Thank she? Thank you very much indeed. <laughs> now, uh, Paul is here. He had a bet on Christmas Day and won uh, a bit of money. Yeah, 90 pounds. I thought you might be interested in this little statement I got today. The MOD and the civil service take a very dim view of employees <laughs> flouting their specialist knowledge to further their own ends, which constitutes insider trading and will result in dismissal. Oh, this is it then, my final day. So you right. I thought you'd put 50 pence on yourself. <laughs> Far too tight. Right, let's have a look. We've got a, a weather picture to show you for tonight. As I said at lunchtime, we'll be showing this every day for the next uh, two weeks. And this really is a magnificent uh, sunset sent in by Mr. Sterland uh, from Hanworth. Uh, near Doncaster. That is absolutely marvellous and it's a contender for the prize which will be announced I think next week. So let's have a look at the details for today then. Lots of cloud around. We had uh, some rain as well. Uh, some fairly heavy rain uh, towards that east coast but a little ridge of high pressure for tomorrow uh, looks like settling things down until more rain pushes up from the southwest during the course of uh, tomorrow night. But a windy day to come and the colder feel as well. So let's have a look at the uh, radar picture for this evening. Then some rain along that east coast just moving out of the way and then another batch of showers coming into Pennine areas as I speak at the moment. So quite a showery evening to come. Some clearer spells at first but I think those showers will uh, move from west to east over the next few hours and then largely become confined to Pennine areas. Quite a chilly night as well. A touch of ground frost on one or two icy patches. Temperatures down to one or two degrees Celsius. Tomorrow then not a bad day. A colder day though and certainly a windy day. Plenty of sunshine around especially in Lincolnshire. One or two showers across the dales at first. Those will die away and into the afternoon the winds will ease ahead of that next weather system bringing rain during tomorrow night. But mainly dry for many of us sums it up. Quite cool. Windy at first. Temperatures up to seven Celsius and then a very unsettled outlook and very windy at the weekend. Paul, it's been lovely working with you. <laughs> I've enjoyed it too. I do hope you can, and it's good night money, <laughs> you can use that money for your leaving party. We look forward I've to that. spent it. <laughs> well, that's it from us uh, tonight. But remember, if there's a story you think we should be covering, please, please do contact us. You can call us. us. The telephone number is 0645 456 700. 0645 456 700. Of course, you can email us at look.north at bbc.co.uk. Either way, we'd like to hear from you. Thank you for watching. Good night. Good night.